For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these two problems at the same time which say determine the angle between these two forces and then determine the magnitude of the projection of F1 acting along uh, AC. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is find the hold on find the um, position vectors of A, B, and C, all the points involved, which are 2, I minus 3J plus 3K, B is equal to 0, I plus 3J plus 0, K, and C is equal to negative 2, I plus 3J plus 4, K. Now that you have the position vectors, you want to find uh, the Cartesian vector form of the forces that we're going to use. So first let's start with uh, AV. Vector AV is equal to position vector V minus position vector A, which means it's Bx plus, um, sorry, it's minus, Bx minus Ax I plus by minus a y j plus b c minus a c k when you plug the numbers in of these two vectors you're gonna get that this vector is equal to negative 2 i plus 6 j minus 3 k then you want to find the magnitude of this vector you find by doing the x squared plus y squared plus c squared each of these values you plug them in here and you're going to get that the magnitude is equal to 7 then you want to find the unit vector acting along it by dividing the vector by its magnitude and you're going to find this little unit vector right here with a magnitude of 1 so this is going to be equal to negative 0.286i plus 0.857j plus 0.571k so you know that the magnitude of f of 1 is equal to 70 so multiplying this magnitude by the unit vector will give you the Cartesian vector form of the force and it comes out to be negative 20i plus 60j minus 30k now we're going to repeat all these steps but for the vector AC which is equal to C minus A, which can start to be negative 4i plus 6j plus 1k. Now you know that the magnitude of this, which you find the same way you did this, is equal to 7.28. And with these values, we can find the unit vector acting along AC. A uh, unit vector is a vector with a magnitude of 1 acting along AC, that's just true. And it comes out to be negative 0.549i plus 0.824j plus 0.137k. And now you know that the magnitude of F2 is equal to 40 newtons so the Cartesian vector form of F2 you can find it by multiplying the magnitude of F2 times the unit vector that it acts along so multiplying these three values by the magnitude gives you the Cartesian vector form which comes out to be negative 22i plus 33j plus 5.5k and this is F2. 
So let me scroll down a little bit so I have more space. Now that you have the vectors, first we're going to find the angle between them. And the angle between them can be found by doing the dot product because you know that the magnitude of F1 times the magnitude of F2 times the cosine of the angle between them is equal to the dot product of the of the vectors you know that the dot product is a scalar so these two values are scalars so you know that the magnitude of f1 is equal to 70 the magnitude of f2 is equal to 40 cosine of the angle we're trying to find is equal to the dot product and the dot product is okay f1 is equal to negative 20 i plus 60 j minus 30k dot negative 22i plus 33j plus 5.5k so negative 20 times negative 22 is 440 plus 60 times 33 is 1980 zero six yeah 1980 and negative 30 times 5.5 is negative 1.65 when you add this together this is equal to 22.55 so you got that 70 times 40 times the cosine of theta is equal to 22.55 so when you store for data, you're going to get that this is equal to the cosine numbers of 0 0.8053. And beta is finally equal to 36.36 .36 degrees. So that's the angle between them. And our first problem, scroll up, first problem. Now they want you to find the projection of F along the vector AC. So they want you to find this force. This force is very easy to find. All we're going to do is F1, 70 newtons, times the cosine of the angle between them. This is cake once you have the angle between them. So the projection. Projection. Uh, along AC is given by F1 cosine of beta F1 is 70 cosine of 36.36 .36, and it is equal to 56.4 so F along AC let's put it parallel to AC final answer for the second problem so we got it and final answer for the angle please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you